Turn the volume down because we're making crispy, crunchy coconut shrimp that might just hurt your ears when we bite them. So good. They're gonna be so good. I'm so excited about it. They're like the perfect uh, appetizer, game day food, sitting around watching Netflix on a Sunday afternoon. I want something to dip and crunch on. They're your best friend. And then we're gonna make like a three second taco with them at the end. Oh my God. A crunchy coconut shrimp taco, are you kidding? Oh, why would I kid? I wouldn't kid you. By the way, today's episode is sponsored by Thrive Market. Let's check out what came in our Thrive box for me to create these amazing crunchy coconut shrimp. Thrive is a member's market. We all want to belong. Belong to a place that specializes with organic, non-GMO, sustainable brands, delicious things. And who wants to even go out anymore these days? Go online, check them out, place your order. It comes, as you can see, beautifully packaged. You'll be super happy. They've got a couple different membership options. Scope the site and there's always free gifts. Order this, get this free gift. Order that, get this free gift. They're nice people. Click the link in my description box to join Thrive Market today and choose a free gift up to $24 value. And we look. I love, for a start, it's, it's worth it just to get this big puffy protector paper. Look how nice they wrap. Okay, our dry ingredients, organic panko for the crisp crunch. Uh, oh, sweet chili sauce for the dipping sauce we're gonna make. Of course, organic shredded coconut, coconut shrimp. And we're using these shrimp, 3140s. That means there's between 31 and 40 per pound. I have some already defrosted. A couple lobster tails I got in the box because you know you always need a couple of those around. I got a couple bundles of cod. We have an idea about doing some fish fingers and some tacos or whatever. It's gonna be great. And what else? Oh, look at little snow crab claws. Who likes these? Who likes these? Who likes, we all like these. All right, everything goes back. So here's how this is gonna go down. It's a pretty standard dredging station setup. Flour, egg, the crispy part. So eggs here, the flour we're gonna put in here. And I'm gonna add about half as much cornstarch. Cornstarch is very good with the crispy part. And I like, I like lots of room when I'm doing this. I sometimes just use the shallow bowls and I feel better about this. We're gonna add some seasonings here. A little cayenne for a little heat. Garlic powder for a little garlic powder taste, I suppose. Big pinch of salt and pepper. We'll mix this guy up. Lovely. This part's the crisp and it's gonna be the organic panko like this. And I'm gonna wanna toss these guys so I do want, you know, a considerable amount of space here. So this is gonna be good. And now the shredded coconut, and then lots of this. That was not sweetened coconut. Honestly, I prefer it. Look, I suppose if I'm making some dessert thing, I want maybe sweetened coconut, but in this case, I don't. I don't want these things sweet, really. Nice. All right, eggs, and we're there. We beat, we add one more small thing to the eggs. Chance and Max, who knows what it is? Milk? No, we're not making an omelet, bro. Hot sauce? Mm. You may have seen a little bottle here, which I'm guessing. Worcester? No. Worcester? A little sesame oil. Think about the flavors we're putting together here. Chili I think, sauce. I thought you were gonna say thick soy because yesterday you were talking about how you're the king of thick soy. Love now. thick soy. Love the thick soy. All right, we're good. Shall we bread shrimp? What do we start with, Chance? We start with uh, getting a shrimp and then we put that into some egg. Come stand right here. How many times have we done this? About a million. Where do we start? What do I always say? Let's, we'll help the people at home. What's my line? The flour helps the I don't egg, even know. Stick. egg stick, and then the egg helps the crumb stick. All right, there we go. It's counterintuitive. I don't think you'd naturally think flour first and then egg. 
I would think it needs something wet to stick yeah. to. Interestingly, though, flour on a shrimp, on a piece of chicken, on a piece of eggplant helps the egg stick to it. Got it. And then into that. Got it. Good man. Now I know. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't want to have to make an example of him, but it was important that the young man learns. This is all about teaching and learning here. And he's 23. He's got a lot of shit to learn. 24. 24. You look 23 and take that as a compliment. I wish I and look 23. All right, trying to employ the dry hand, wet hand technique that seldom works. I'll put a handful of shrimp in here, try and get them covered. Uh, I can see this is already going to go to hell in a hand basket. I'm going to end up with messy fingers. It's okay. The best way to do this is give the job to somebody else. Kids! Sweetie, come here. I got something fun for you to do. Your girlfriend or your boyfriend walks in. What? You're breading the shrimp. Damn it. <laughs> All right, into the egg. Coat, coat, coat. Cover, cover, cover. Then we'll come out one at a time. Let the excess drip off. And then in. Excess off. In. Gordon Ramsay does that. And then in. All right, so you can see how this is going. I think I have to. But I want to do this. I want to. Do a good squeeze with the crumbs. That's why I wanted so much. I want them coated well, like that. So I'll just put them on a thing, a deal, a plate. You're gonna be fine. By the way, you could do this a little bit earlier if you wanted to have them prepared for your company, your friends. Okay, we're good. So let me just get these ones out, drop them in. I mean, it's really simple, really simple. There's another version that you're making a wet batter. And if I can skip a wet batter stage, I'm skipping a wet batter stage. That's just a huge mess and I don't like to do it. All right, we're doing fine. Let me continue, I'm gonna get them all done. So Max, play some relaxing music for our friends. Relaxing? I usually don't go with relaxing. The shrimp are peeled and deveined. You don't have to do any of that messy work. Thank you, Thrive, for sending them like this. And then again, the flour comes off. I will now stop talking, allow you to sit back, relax, roll up a fatty, get a cocktail, a beverage, whatever you want. And in about 20 seconds, this part will be over and we'll be frying. And then we're going to make like a dipping sauce. So look, you can see when I pour the chili sauce, it's very thin. Perfect for a stir fry, all kinds of things like that, but not for dipping. When it comes time to dip one of these guys in here, I don't want a thin sauce to sort of sog out the crisp on the outside. So I'm going to add what to me is a really obvious thing to add, some apricot jam. I it's hate a hate it when you say sog out, by the way. What, what should I be saying? Get soggy? That's a little bit better, yes. Get soggy? Now look, I, now I need more. I don't want soggy, crispy shrimp. Sorry? I don't want crispy shrimp that are soggy. So I'm gonna add this jam. It's, a, it's gonna add the sweet that's fine at this point. That's why I didn't want sweet coconut. Uh, and it's fairly benign. It adds the sweet, but it's not like adding something super strong that will take over the flavor. All you're gonna get is sweet chili sauce, a little bit thicker like this. Look at this is gorgeous. This is what you wanna be dipping into, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're talking. All right, we set this aside. We take our shrimp right here and we head to the fryer. All right, so here we are. Oil's at 350. These are gonna take about a minute, maybe a minute and 10 seconds. Minute 15, certainly not much more than that. And I'm just gonna do a single layer right in the basket and then lower it and do a couple batches. I don't wanna bring the temperature of the oil down too much. And in we go. Boom. Hello, crunchy shrimp. I love you. They're getting pretty already. Ha ha. 
Halfway. Pretty? Not like they're gonna be. Just hang on. 15 seconds. And that's it. Wow, wow, wow. Hello, little friends. Oil comes off. So now, after they've dripped a bit, I'm gonna put them right on here. And while they're still warm, they're gonna get a little sprinkle of kosher salt because the salt will stick and make everything better. They're very hot, we'll let them sit there for a second and we'll do the other batch. And they go. This will just be one more batch and then we'll be done. And down we go. And we're there. Let these guys drip. Shake, shake on our rack. Uh-oh. What the hell? It went down there? Did anybody see that? Yeah. Damn it. I'm getting that one. Salt. <laughs> I say we try these, because look how gorgeous they are. Tell me they're not gorgeous. Just go ahead. I dare you to tell me those are not gorgeous. Just go, Sam, they're not gorgeous. See, you can't, because they are. All right, here's our sauce. A little pretty presentation trick. A few sesame seeds, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then, pretty much the obvious move. I'll get this guy, because it, it, it doesn't look like a shrimp. It's all, you know, whatever. But a little dip, wow, the texture. That's it, right there, see? You want that thicker sauce because the super liquidy sauce would have, as Max likes me to say, it would have sogged it out. But now, please can I have a bite? They sog smell. you out if you're not careful. Please can I have a bite? They smell so good. Mmm. Oh, good time to subscribe. Hit the like button. Maybe ring the notification bell if you like us. Mmm. All right. I just realized the mistakes I made. I didn't make enough. Oh my God. This, honestly, these are insane. You can't make enough. The salt right there at the end boosts the flavor. Mm. The dipping sauce, little cayenne. But wait, there's more. Little baby tortilla, street size on the flat top. Let's make a taco. Okay, so this is super quick. Oh, ow, 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 ow. It has to be. So a little sauce on the bottom. Now, a little crispy, cool lettuce, because that's great. And then just take two of them, because this is this, this is a little baby street taco guy. Put these guys in here. Ow. And a little, ah, it's burning. More sauce on top. How's that look? Right? Awesome. Who doesn't want that? Let's have a bite. Come on. Before I take a bite, because I might lose myself in this, let me just say thank you, Thrive Market, for sponsoring today's episode. And now we eat. It's crazy. It's crazy.